I've said many times that I believe that generative artificial intelligence is the next great industrial revolution, which is why we're here at NVIDIA's GTC event, because this is where you learn about what actual businesses are doing with AI. Take Synopsys, an electronic design automation software company with a platform that's used to design semiconductors and electronic components. Yesterday, NVIDIA announced that Synopsys in Taiwan setting will be using their technology to take semiconductor manufacturing to the next level which includes making the new high-end chips NVIDIA announced last night. This is just the latest in a string of important developments for Synopsys, which rolled out a huge acquisition over this year. They're paying $35 billion in cash and stock for Ansys. That's another great design software play with terrific simulation capabilities. Tomorrow, Synopsys presents a slew of new products at its annual Synopsys User Group Conference right here in Silicon Valley. But tonight, we're getting a sneak preview from Sosin Ghazi. He is the new president and CEO of Synopsys. Mr. Ghazi, welcome to Mad Money. Great to be here. Thank you. Well, you are kind of the man of the day today because Jensen mentioned you repeatedly to me as someone who has been one of the most long-lasting and important partners with NVIDIA. So what do you do with them? So, as, me as Jensen mentioned, we are mission critical to the chip design industry, and in this particular case, NVIDIA. Look at Blackwell, 208 billion transistors. Imagine putting all these devices in that small silicon area and ensuring that it's going to function, and when you manufacture it, it's going to work based on the intention of it. So, so Jensen's people design it, and you actually find a way to do it? We provide them the software. So we're an engineering software company. So every designer inside NVIDIA is using our software to architect it, to actually design it, and verify it. Then once they're ready to ship it to manufacturing, we are the bridge to manufacturing. So we work with the foundry, okay. with the silicon, right. and uh, our software so to enable NVIDIA it. NVIDIA to you, maybe to Taiwan, That's send right. me. Exactly. Fantastic. OK, now exactly. you've got your big conference tomorrow. Yes. Your stock was up huge today, I think, in anticipation of some of the things you're going to say. Maybe give us a little preview. So there are three focus areas. One, the complexity of silicon, of chip yeah. design. As you see, it is exponential. Not because we like complexity, is the need to bring in all these compute into that silicon and how do we enable our customers to do it? So okay. chip complexity. The second one, what we call silicon to system. As you hear Jensen describe, NVIDIA is not only a chip company, it's a system company. Right. 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 And, and as you're going to the system uh, world, it, it, you become end market specific. So if you're selling to an automotive, to an industrial, you need to understand their workloads, their software, and customize your system and your silicon in order to have a power efficient, high compute uh, ability to deliver to well, those systems. This, these are impossible tasks. Exactly. And then, but however, if you believe that in the future, the world is going to become more interconnected. Right. Any end market, be it a car, home, industrial, interconnected, more intelligent, smarter using AI. Electronics is essential. Okay. We call this electronics digital twin. So how do you create a digital twin that is connected to the omniverse type of uh, application to design it? to design, to simulate, to make sure it's going to work. So that's what we're talking about tomorrow. I'm so glad you brought up because that's where I was going next because he, he, Jensen talked about digital twin over and over again. And the biggest, the final frontier is the factory. Exactly. And that's you. Now, he praised Ansys. Yes. He told me that if yes. I want to know how cars are going to be made, I right. need to know Ansys. You're going to be Ansys. Tell me how cars are going to be uh, made. Exactly. So where Synopsys has been is the electronics digital twin of the right. system. So anything chip related you need to virtualize that chip into a digital twin so if you are an automotive OEM before you buy the chip you want to get a sense how will that chip function right. in my system so that's where synopsis has been where ANSYS has been the leader is on the multi-physics the mechanical simulation if you have a crash test before it used to be a physical test. Right. Now through simulation you'll be able to do I didn't know it. that. Yes. That's what they do. That's what they do. They, they simulate multiple aspects of what's called physics, be it mechanical, structural, etc. Now when those devices become smart, you have chips that are uh, uh, providing sensors, monitors right. of that system. 
but how does it simulate in the context of the physical world? So that's where ANSYS and Synopsys will provide the virtual world of the future, where the, the companies like the NVIDIA, et cetera, is able to deliver the physical well, world of the future. Okay, well, this, when, when Jensen says, listen, we eliminate waste, well, you're not just crashing cars every 15 minutes. Exactly, but as the world becomes more autonomous, electrified, you cannot do it. It's too expensive and it takes too long. Right, it's too expensive. And it takes too long. It right. takes too long. So that's the opportunity we're very excited well, about. Well, this is why your stock has been unbelievable for so many years. And I want more people to understand it because they should be owning something that is so cut. You've been cutting edge the whole time. The whole time. The whole time. <laughs> yes, thank you. And that is Sassine Ghazi, he's president and CEO of Synopsis, which is merging with Ansys, another great company. What a terrific story. Stay with Kramer. Coming up. This stock's gains have melted away. Is a buying opportunity in the forecast? Kramer sits down with Snowflake next. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on X. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Mentions. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.